Jesse, I'm serious. I, I I need you to wait outside. Please. Okay. Dinah, look, what's going on? We've done this before. Why are you so jittery? I'm not jittery. I just, I, I told you, I don't like this. I am not liking people looking at me. I don't, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, you know, you need to just relax a little bit. I don't need to relax because you tell me to relax. Okay, look, Dinah, it's my baby, okay? And I just want to see my baby and I just want to feel my Your baby. baby's kid. not kicking right now. Yeah, but sometimes if you touch the baby, a little bit. Hey, it's me. I know you just left, but I just wanted to call and say hello. And I'm glad we're back on track. And we're gonna stay that way, you know. Nothing. No one is going to mess it up. Anyway, just give me a call whenever you can. I'll be setting up for the shower. I love you. I really do. Hi. Hi, Blake. That sounded nice. Did you mean it? thinking that the house needed some work, but actually it's starting to grow on me. Mm. You like bare walls, huh? I like bare something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like the sound of that. And I'll tell you, an empty house never felt so full. Well, our life is pretty full. Except I think the boys would like some more stuff in their rooms, probably. Yeah, we need to talk to you about that. See, <laughs> that's going to be your job. You got to pick out windows and uh, doors and moldings. I get to pick out the moldings? Yeah, because that's, that's fun, right? Late night shopping trips at the home store. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Does that turn you on? Normal turns me on. <laughs> well, all right, you want some normal? I, uh, I like tiled countertops. I yeah. never thought I'd hear those words. Oh, everyone's doing the granite and the chrome, granite and chrome. It's overrated. Like okay, it. but can I tell you this? Tile is very hard to keep clean. But it's all fine, because Don't you know what? I used to yeah. dream about these conversations in prison! Mm, this ain't a dream. This is your life, sister. <laughs> Normal. Mm. I'll take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, things will be a lot easier for you if you just cooperate, Alan. I'm not saying a word to you till I speak with my attorney. You already confessed. Yeah, according to ten people who hate me. I don't hate you. Really? Well, that's very touching. Maybe we should uh, play tennis together. Why don't I call my secretary and get you penciled in? Well, that's a nice offer, but I'm afraid you won't be able to make any social engagements for about 20 years or so. I'm not going to prison. You killed your own son, Alan. The case is airtight. Don't underestimate me. And speaking of tight, I do know how you feel about confined spaces. I can only imagine what it must be like for you. Thinking about the possibility of spending such a long time, mm, the rest of your life, really, in such a tight, confined, enclosed, dark space. Of course, I could be of help if there's anything you feel like telling me. And the couch is gonna go right here. Yeah, that's okay, because the flat screen's going here. Nice big flat screen. Boys and their flat screen TVs. You can't get much more normal than that. You said normal turns you on, so normal's what you get. You promise? Cross my heart. You know what I want most of all is routine. I just want one day to be just like the one before and the one that's coming up. I'll do my best to give you that. I know you will. I'm so glad we are here. 
This is so great. It is, isn't it? I'm going to get you in here as soon as possible, you and the boys. Well, what about you? What? Oh, is that my invitation? I'll take it. Well, I can't have you living out of cars your whole life. Somebody's mm. got to put a roof over your head. Yeah. Once a roof is actually built on this house. Mm. This is a crazy life. Yeah, well, we're normal now. This is what normal people do. Almost. Almost. But it's like you said. It's like our lives were like that, that soap, uh, the light of love. Mm. Actually, it's just light of love. It used to be the light of love, but the show's been on forever. Whatever, whatever. People... My point is that you're going to need to watch that show to get your excitement because Harley's drama, over. Done. Yeah, you think you can live without it? You won't be bored? No freaking way! Mm -hmm. No, I am, I am Miss Normal. I am Mrs. Normal. I am craving normal. Uh, okay, well then. Normal. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait where, where are we going? We're going to go to the home store. Oh, oh, tonight? I can't do it tonight. I have Cassie's surprise baby shower. Oh. Which I'm actually very excited about. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. Which is unusual for me. Because yeah. uh, when I was a kid, well, not even such a kid, a grown-up, mm -hmm. I hated those things. Showers mm -hmm. and, and party favors and, sure. and the, the sandwiches and mm -hmm. all those stupid games kind of, that wait, you have wait, to play. What, what, uh, what kind of sandwich? The little pinwheel-shaped ones. Oh, really cute. nice. Sorry, anyway, I would never touch them. Give me a sub. Mm -hmm. But now... Bring it on. I sure. want the, the shower, and I want those stupid little party favors and the games and everything. But sure. really, I just want to sit around, and I want to eat sandwiches with my girlfriend. Because that's nice. That's the normal thing to do. Yeah, normal. except for the part where Dinah's carrying the baby. Yeah, that's a little weird. But I guess, uh, I guess you need something to keep life a little off balance. At least, well, compared to what we've been through, that seems normal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's no problem. We'll, uh, we'll go to the home store tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I do wish we were coming back here tonight, though. What, we're not going to be cuddling tonight? Well, we are, but it's uh -huh. not the, the same thing at the Bauer house, because Frank snores and Rick snores and who knew Mel snored. Mm, like a lumberjack. Yeah. But I just, I'm ready to, to build a life for my family, mm -hmm. you know? I want my children to have a stable life with a future that's clear and bright. Absolutely. You know? Every family should have that. Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> All right, um, I, I got to go. I got to go to some, uh, I got some business. Where are you going? It's, um, it involves our life arrangements, okay? I'll tell you tomorrow. Come on, I'll drop you off at the, uh, the baby bash. Come on. You know, O'Neill, you can save your scare tactics for the real criminal. Well, you're pretty real to me, Alan. Can I talk to my attorney or not? Talking with me will get you a lot further. Oh, I'll bet. You know, I can just make a few calls and... You get a lot done. You would do that for, for me? Arrangements can be made. Bigger sell. Mm. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in a closet? You know, those cells, they can start feeling like coffins after a while. I told you I am not going to... Oh, well, that's where you're going to go. That's what you're going to call home for the rest of your life. We'll try to make it as pleasant as possible for you. Can I make the call or not? Fine. Make your call. Change your mind. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, it's me. Mr. Spaulding, I have been trying to reach you. Yeah, well, um, I've been indisposed. So I've read. We need to discuss how your situation affects your son. I have concerns. You don't worry about that. Just keep doing what you've been doing. That might not be possible. What do you mean it won't be possible? I pay you good money. The money is running out. Money is not an issue. I am a wealthy man. It will be if you go to prison. I am not going to prison. The newspaper says you confessed to your son's murder. You just let me worry about that. You keep doing your job. Fine. Pay me and I'll have no problem with that. You'll get your money. Soon, I hope. Or else? Without resources, my staff and I will pack up and leave. And the subject will be left to fend for himself. We should just start to decorate. Uh, I'm sorry, that was 
That was an obnoxious question I should have asked you. Yeah, it kind of was. You know, <laughs> well, of course you love Sandy. I mean, he's a great guy. He's just a great guy. Yeah, Just, yes. Just please forget it. I said anything. Okay. Did I sound fake on the phone? I mean, is no, that... No, 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 no. I did, didn't I? You know, this is none of my business. I'm not... Blake, I really want to know. Okay. Um, you sound a little rehearsed. I mean, just a little, but that's normal, right? I mean, it's normal. You rehearse something in your head when you're trying to figure out what you want to say to somebody, right? Right. I mean... Look, Tammy, in my business... You, you know, being an author, I'm... Most of the time, I'm... Well, all of the time, I'm trying to figure out what somebody's thinking, and... Usually, I just... I don't know when to stop, so that's all. It's okay. Ross says that I, I create drama. Well, you're a writer. That's what writers do. Oh, well... Supposed to create drama in their work, not in their lives, not in other people's lives. Well, my life is pretty simple right now. I'm in school and I work and I've got a great boyfriend. Right. And you're expecting a, a baby brother or sister soon? There you go. Good. So, how are things with Sandy? Um, they're great. Sandy's great. You know, he's the kind of guy that every girl should want. Should want? Oh. Chill, Blake. You're overthinking. Hmm. Actually, what I'm thinking is you are young to have this much sense. Really? It's, it's great. I have such a poor record when it comes to men. Well, except for Ross. Except for Ross. And, uh... All the other guys that weren't Ross? Uh, let's see, there was Ross's brother. Oh. A very sordid affair. You know, my problem is that I am always attracted to drama. It took, it took a long time to realize that, that comfort and security can be just as sexy as, you know, the, the other stuff. What other stuff? Okay. Mm -mm. Your mother would so not want me to be your relationship counselor. You know, honey, be happy that you found a good guy. They are rare. They're hard to come by. And, and the other ones, they're just... Oh, wow. It, is there someone? No. Hey, you know what? I should make sure that my mom is on her way. Uh, can you just finish things up? Sure. Tammy. Okay, never mind. Jesse! I thought we agreed that I'd stay with Dinah during the sonogram. Why are you trying to get rid of me? I'm not. I'm not. I just, uh... I don't want to upset Dinah. You can see how emotional she no, is. No, I see something, but what is going on? Well, I just, uh... Just give me a few minutes. Cassie and I can, I can, uh, I can make her relax. You guys are acting really weird, no, you know? No, no, I'm just trying to do the responsible thing for the baby, that's all. Please, just a, just a moment. Okay, but you know, this is my baby and I want to see it. And I'm not going anywhere till I see my baby on the sonogram. Of course. Of course. Good. Just a minute. Next time, I won't miss. Cassie? Hey. Hi. Hey. You look nice, and flowers. You brought me flowers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What's the occasion? Uh, I'm taking you to dinner, just the two of us. Wow, how sweet are you? Uh, okay, sweet. Let's not get crazy. 
What is your problem? You. You are my problem. Do you realize how close we just got to being busted? Then you should feel very happy that we went to the makeup artist. That thing is incredibly real. Mm -hmm. Ow! No. Do you even know what it's like to wear this itchy, disgusting piece of huge rubber? That itchy, disgusting piece of huge rubber just saved our lives. Oh, get, get, okay. Dino, Dino. Our secret is safe, darling. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah, until she sees a sonogram, darling. We have won ourselves a whopping ten minutes. <sighs> I want to go out with you so bad. Does that mean we can get out of here? Well, not yet. I haven't oh. seen the sonogram, so we can go out and celebrate just as soon as I see my baby. How come you're not in there? Oh, uh, I was asked to leave. Diana's in a mood. Well, it can't be a mood if it's always the same thing. <laughs> well, she is pregnant. Well, she is Dinah. Yeah, well, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, okay? So Edmund's in there and he's trying to calm her down. Edmund, oh, yeah, what a prince. Yeah. Okay, what is it? It's almost like Edmund doesn't want me in there for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm making something out of nothing. Whatever. So. Where are you taking me? Um, the Queen Anne. The cruise around the lake? Yeah. I've been wanting to go on that. I know. Good. So, you know, I guess we better do some of these things, you know, while we still can. Mm, why? Someone going somewhere? No, but someone's a coming. A baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. No, I, I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't forget. I, I, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Life's a little different, you know, with a newborn around. Well, um... The baby will not only have you, we'll have Tammy and Mrs. Chitwood I'm, and... The... I'm the mother. I've been so caught up in Dinah and, and making sure she's healthy and Edmund and everything going on with him and keeping him in line that I've kind of really forgotten about all the other stuff. Well, I mean, you know, you've had plenty of practice, so... Yeah, but every baby's like different. Every baby's different, you know? Some sleeps the night, others are up all night long and they sleep all day. And what happens when the baby's up all night? You're up all night. What happens if you have to, you know, like, go to work early in the morning, then? Okay, well, I guess you're not going to be spending many nights at the farm until the kid's in school. Okay, so, you know, what's a little, uh, sleeplessness? Uh... <laughs> well, you know, it's not just that. There are tons of things. There are feedings, there are ear infections, there are doctor's appointments, then they have diapers, and they crawl, and they walk, and they're into everything, and then, okay, you know what? Yeah. Potty training. Okay, yeah, all right, so the baby's going to put a little damper on our uh, wild, carefree lifestyle. A little. Yeah. It is the most amazing and wonderful thing in the whole wide world. But you know what? If you can't take it, if you can't hack it, you, you go ahead and go. You can walk out the door. You better go before no, you get attached because... You can't get rid of me that easily, okay? I'm already attached. Okay. I hope the, uh, I hope the new kid likes guitar playing. Well, maybe you could sing the baby to sleep. Maybe. You're a brave man, Mr. O'Neill. Yeah, well, okay, now that you've filled me in on life with baby, I realize that we're going to have to take advantage of our pre-baby time. Mm. So, bon voyage in one hour. Oh. Okay, that's going to give you enough time. I really want to go home and change. I've been wearing this all day at RJ's party and all the kids. Got you covered. You bought me a dress? Well, uh, my secretary actually did the honors. Uh, I chose the color, though. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Mm. All right, go, 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 okay. go. Get dressed. What if the sonogram guy comes? What if I miss that? I'll, 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 I'll come get you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Jeffrey, where is she going? Tammy. Uh, yeah, your mom, she went to go get dressed for dinner. Oh, you're not going to dinner? Yeah, we are. Um, no, you're not. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. What are you talking about? I don't think that we thought this through. Cassie cannot wait to get her hands on my midsection. It makes her feel connected to the baby. Well, we can't let that happen. Well, how are we going to stop it? She wants to see the sonogram. I don't know. Can we just face it? We have failed. No, we haven't. We haven't failed. Actually, you know what? When Cassie finds out about this, it is going to hurt her undeniably. But you and I, we are together, right? Of course. Then let's do it. Let's tell her the truth right now. Hey, so, you ready to roll? Sorry I'm late. Wow, better late than never. This looks really good. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh, oh, 
Look at you. Oh, boy. You just saw me, Blake. I don't care. I have months to make up for. You know what? Urgh, you're gorgeous. Thanks. Are you saying that I should be on the run more often? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I just can't believe that you're standing in front of me and you're free. Oh, I know. It makes two of us. <gasps> wow. So, Alan, huh? Yeah, Alan. Well, he did try to shoot Philip once before. Yeah, but I think he was aiming for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Same intention. Yeah, his intention is always the same thing, is to save his son. Okay, this is a happy day. We're going to think about happy thoughts. All right. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Well, the truth is, Blake, I couldn't be happier. Me neither. Really? Mm hmm And, um, I have something to tell you, but nobody knows it yet. Really? Yeah. I, I'm not saying that you have to keep it a secret. I'm just... Uh, not that I think you could keep a secret. Um... Gus and I are engaged. Again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> engaged? I'm... Wow, you... Well, you sure don't waste time. Is that Blake for congratulations? Oh, no, of course. Oh, congratulations, sweetie. Of course. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Thanks. That's right, really I mean, heartfelt. Well, I, it, 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 it's just that... I, I just didn't think you are going to rush so quickly back to the altar. That's all. Well, Why? I mean, if you, if you think about it, we haven't even really ever been apart. <laughs> True. It, well, except for the time that you were in prison. Um, you mean when I was in prison with Mal? You said that. Not me. Blake, Mallet is my ex-husband. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mallet. And seeing him didn't... It didn't. No spark? Nothing? I wanted to strangle him. Is that a spark? There's a fine line between love and hate. We didn't cross it. I think he still loves you. It's pretty obvious. Why do you say that? I read. And... <sighs> Harley, I know. Come on. Mallet wants you back, doesn't he? That's why he took the job in the prison. No, he took the job in the prison so that he could make up for something that he did to me. And he did make up for it. And I forgive him. Wow. That's big. Yes, that's very big for me. Thank you. But I love Gus. And I am marrying Gus! And nothing's getting in the way this time. You can't abandon him. I am breaking the law for you. If I am not compensated... Don't you dare do this, Doctor. I don't think you're quite in a position to be threatening me, Mr. Spaulding. I'll accept a check. Send it by messenger this evening. It's impossible. I can't this... I'm sure you'll find a way. This is extortion. No. I am providing a service, and you are going to pay me for that service. Put him on. I want to speak. Not right now. Now. I need to hear my son's... Son's right here. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Everything's fine. Right, Dana? How's he changed? Uh, yeah. Um, going out to dinner. Oh. With Jeffrey? Yes. Somewhere fancy? Yes, we're going on the dinner cruise. Oh, yeah, on the lake. That's romantic. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are we all ready? Yes. Yeah, can't wait. Mm. Is something wrong? The machine won't turn on. No. Well, perhaps there's another one in another room. The other one we have is also on the fritz. Oh. What a shame. I'm sorry, folks. I'm afraid we'll have to reschedule. Well, isn't there anyone who can fix it? Not this evening. Oh, well. Baby's not going anywhere. Tonight is Mom's surprise baby shower. Yeah, we, we made some plans. Well, unmake them. It's her shower. All of her friends are going to be there? Of course they are. So can you make sure she's there? I'll get her there. Thank you. I owe you one. Okay. Uh, 
Hey, hi. Well, hello, sailor. How'd it go in there? Uh, the sonogram machine's broken. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. So, what do you think of the trip? <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, when I, when I see that, you know, I, I just think I want to uh, scrap the boat and go for takeout. Huh? You know, Blake, mm -hmm. one of the good things about being in trouble is that uh, you're too busy to worry about other people's troubles. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just concerned. I know you are. Yeah, are you sure? Okay, it's weird. It is well, weird. Well, yes, so you're telling me that nothing happened with Mallet? Oh nothing God. happened with Mallet? There's something you're not telling There's me. There's a lot I'm not telling you. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I was in love with him once upon a time. So, of course, a little part of me will always love him. But Gus is the love of my life. And Mallet's just, he's another ex-husband. Who you've forgiven. Yes. I'll probably invite him to the wedding. Ooh, that's so... Progressive? That too. <laughs> I know that you're looking for some big revelation here, but there really isn't one. Really. Except that now I can finally put the past where it belongs, in the past, which makes me very happy. That's good, then. Thank you. And I'm happy for you. Thank you. It's a good thing. It is a good thing. All right. It's good enough for me. Me too. You should be a lawyer. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> but I will help you plan your wedding. No. No. Tr really. Truly. It's, it, it will be small. Simple. Intimate. Because it doesn't matter. What matters is that we are getting married. Finally. We are starting a life together. And nothing, nothing is going to get in the way this time. Hello. Hello. I hung up. I guess I'm not the only one who's done with you. I don't think that's true. You wouldn't be here. The only reason I'm here is to make sure you get locked up. Well, you better take a good look, because this is only temporary. Yeah, you're right. Last stop before prison. No. Yes. Hellas. That's where you're going. And I've been there. And believe me, it's exactly like hell. Yeah, well, I've been through hell ever since Philip was taken from me. Well, if you've been in hell, I guess you haven't heard the news. You mean you didn't come here just to gloat? I'm taking over Spalding Enterprises. That's what you wanted, right? I'm even moving into the house. Anything else? Yes, I'm taking Harley with me and all of her family. Sounds like a reality version of the Beverly Hillbillies. You should put it on film. Like reality TV. Here's the reality, Dad. Harley is going to have everything that you lost. The only thing that I care about that I lost was Philip. Mm -hmm. I'm also freezing all of your assets. Wait, wait, wait. You don't have the authority to please, do that. Please. No, I As need... the head of Spalding Enterprises, I have the authority to do anything. Because I want. need those accounts. Sorry, no, you don't that. understand. I need to... I need to uh, pay my attorney. You'll get an attorney. A court-appointed attorney. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing... I am your father. This is a huge mistake. Stop. Don't you care? I mean... It's not going to work. You're going away. And there's not a damn thing that you can say that's going to change that. Oh, wine with Ooh. my girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, I want to put in a pool. <gasps> what a great idea. Yeah. Ooh, you could do it right now because they're working on your house. Yes, right and now. we can have pool parties this oh, summer. Oh, my boys will love that so cut. much. Well, your boys are going to be at the stage where they're going to be liking girls. That could be very, very dangerous. Oh, that's scary. Oh, get that there. That might be about the shower. No. Hello? Hi, Callahan. How you doing? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. What's going on? You're kidding. No, thank you. D th thank you for calling me. Absolutely. Yep. What? What's wrong? That's a guy that I used to work with down at the station. Gus is down there with Alan. Are you worried? I should go. Are you sure? Well, Molly, that you want to see Alan face to face? Yeah, I don't think so, but I also don't want Gus to do something stupid. All right. Well, what about the shower? Oh, please. Barring disaster. I'll be back. Okay. Looks great. Harley! Oh, my Harley, goodness! 
so good to see you. Everything looks so good. I'll be back. Wait, what are you... John. It's just a, a mini little crisis. It's okay. Where's your mom? Is she on her way? Well, she should be. I had to twist Jeffrey's arm a little bit, but he said he'd get her here somehow. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like a buzz burger. Are you kidding? No. So what do you say? We go by company, grab a couple burgers, and make it some beers, go home and watch the game. What about the cruise and my dress? Yeah, we can do that some other time. We can do that, you know, later. Am I missing something here? Uh, you know, I'm just a little fickle, I guess. <laughs> Since when? Well, you know, the wind also picked up, and it's going to be high seas. On the lake? Yeah. It can get rough out there. I'm serious. Now, look, what are all these questions? Come on, I'm going to have a ball. Let's go. I mean, do we really need to be killing ourselves over this? Excuse me? I'm just saying, I'm beginning to wonder why we need to be torturing Cassie like this. Well, Dinah, Dinah, what's all the doubt? I thought we were together on this. We are. We were. I'm just saying, I don't know how much faking we can really do. Well, I think we've been doing a splendid job. Yes, but tonight? Tonight, don't worry about tonight. I can fend off Cassie tonight, really, don't worry. The sonogram is one thing, but she wants to see the baby. Yes, but that's the whole point, remember? Cassie's hurt, yeah? Dinah, Cassie wants this baby more than anything. Does she? Still? Trust me. Oh, I mean, I trust you. So, Dinah, think about everything Cassie's done. She lived in a castle while you rotted away in a jail cell. She's had a family. She's had happiness. She's I've had seen love. the movie. So, you'll do it my way? Yes. Oh, that's my girl. You won't regret this. No, I hope not. Mm. Because we'll be together, right? Of course we will. I wouldn't have it any other way. Come here. Get in there. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, Harley, you must really be enjoying this. The Coopers won, Dad. As much as you and Philip tried to beat them down, they won. Come on. No. Come on. Yes. Come you on. feel the walls closing in on you? Is that the problem? I'm not staying. No, you keep on saying that, but you're deluding yourself. I'm not staying. Dad, you're a killer. This is where killers belong. No. Yes. Yes. And I'm afraid you're going to die in here. Why are you torturing me like this, Gus? Oh, this is torture. This is exactly what you did to Harley. Do you remember? Hey, it's over. I just want normal. Please, please. It's sad. It's sad to see it in this way. Wait! I didn't kill Philip. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's... Oh, okay. It's empty. Oh, too bad. Let's go home. No, 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 no. I, I want a milkshake. What's the point, Dinah? There's no one here to see you drink it. I, I, I forgot to flip the, the clothes sign. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe, we just, maybe if we're just quiet, they'll go away. Hello? Too bad. No one's here. Let's go. Come on. No, I don't want to go. Come on. I deserve a little something for doing this. Why are you stopping? Well, it's a really nice night, so why don't you go ahead in and order? Uh, well, uh, I, I don't know what you want. I want to go on the cruise. Please don't start with the complaining again. Well, I just... I'm a little tired of this belly, okay? I wish it were gone. What did she just say? All right, come on. You, you have to trust me. This is going to be good. Come oh, on. my gosh. Dinah! Oh, oh I, I hate it. This is driving me crazy. Do you hear that? That is the sound of desperation. I am not a murderer. You have to believe Listen me. Listen to me. Look at me. You shot him. He is dead. Okay? 
Get me out of here, and I will clear up all oh, of this. Oh, God, I have had enough of this. Well, there's Please. nothing to clear up. No, get me out, and I will show you. Let's go. No, you don't understand. It's all a lie. He's not dead. Philip is alive. <laughs>